Hello everyone, this is Rohan and in this video, I am going to give you all the details regarding presentation zero. So what you are seeing in front of you right now are the 10 well-defined steps for the semester seven project one. So if you're watching this video, I'm sure that you must have already done the registration of the, your project group members and you might have already received the project group numbers in return of this. Also, right now, you must be in the process of registration of project titles. So the next step in front of you is the presentation zero, which is basically a brief presentation that your group members and you have to give in front of the faculty members for proper allotment of project supervisor or guide. So for explaining presentation zero further, I'll be taking the help of the project presentation zero template uh, which i will be posting in the description below and you can download this template for the preparation of your presentation zero so let's see the template so in the title page you have to mention the tentative title of the project your project group numbers the name and role number of each and every member of your group and the shift academic year and the name of your school and department Next, in the first slide, that is introduction, you have to introduce your topic briefly. Here you need to just outline the basic concept behind your project. In literature review, that is slide number two, you have to present whatever material you have collected regarding the topic so far. These may include technical papers from reputed journals, excerpts from reference and textbooks, and any other material that you may have collected from genuine sources, both online and offline. If you have collected more material, you may take up one more slide for review of literature, but do it briefly and do not extend it unnecessarily, okay? In the next slide, we wish to see the scope of your project. Now, what do I mean by that? For example, many of you may have chosen the topic as green building, but are you going to actually construct a green building in the next two semesters? Obviously not, that's impossible. So you may be working on a much smaller subtopic, if I may, under the broader green building topic, for example, green retrofitting, green writing systems, etc., etc. So here we want to know what exactly want you want to do in the project. Uh, it is understood that at this stage, you may not be 100% crystal clear about what exactly you want to do, but uh, try to share an overall idea. And in the last slide, that is slide number five, please mention that how can your project be applied in the industry? Also, if you wish to collaborate with any industry regarding this project, then you have to mention that also in this topic. So that brings us to the end of this template, which I will again remind you that uh, I am posting the link in the description below and you can download it and use for preparing the presentation zero. So now let us move on to the rules of presentation zero that must be followed. Number one is that the maximum time given for your presentation is five minutes. All group members must present at least one slide. Presentation zero will be followed by a question and answer session. The total points allotted to presentation zero is 50 points and the groups scoring lesser than 20 points will not be uh, allotted a guide or a supervisor immediately, but they have to reappear for the presentation zero again. Now, all of these points are self-explanatory except for the total points, the breakdown of which I'll give you in the next slide, that is grading criteria of presentation zero. So here, 10 points is given for feasibility of the topic. Uh, what do I mean by that? Feasibility of the topic is basically a judgment on whether the topic that you have chosen can be successfully completed in the next two semester with the resources at hand. So 10 points is given for that. And for review of literature, scope of the topic and the application, 10 points each are given and all three has been discussed uh, in detail previously. And lastly, 10 points have been allotted to project group members caliber to handle the topic. Now, sometimes it so happens that some academically weak students end up choosing extremely difficult technical topics, which sometimes we feel that they may not be able to complete in the next two semesters. So in that case, you uh, earn less points in this. So uh, be judicious 
fiduciary on yourself and choose a topic that uh, you and your group members can finish in the next two semesters. Okay. And to end with, I'll be posting a Facebook video of a presentation zero and question answer session. And you will see how just within seven minutes, 30 seconds, the entire thing is wrapped up. And the link of this will be posted in the description below. I hope this entire presentation on this video was useful for you. If you have any doubts, you can write in the comments below or you can approach me directly. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.